Well, good morning, guys. Today I am playing the role of Dirk Nowinski. I've got my Mavs dancers here. We're on the practice court at American Airlines Center. Our week of finding unique workouts for you continues coming up. We'll show you how the Mavs dancers stay in shape and give you a couple of moves you can do at home. What can I say? I like big mugs and I cannot lie. This is what the employees at Kohl's, this is how they're drinking their coffee because they are open 24 hours right now. Coming up on News 8 Daybreak from quirky gifts to Star Wars to beauty to electronics, we have your last minute Christmas gift ideas coming up. Now this is how you warm up for the 2015 Generational Equity Jingle Bell Run. We've got the Mavs dancers. We've got the maniacs in the house. This is the holiday race to be a part of, guys. It all starts and ends here at the Hilton Anatole. We'll give you a preview coming up. Are you ready, ladies? Three, two, one. Here we go. It is time for the 11th annual ice at the Gaylord Texan. Watch out. Oh, we're talking 2 million pounds of ice. This year's theme, you get to travel around the world. We'll give you the freezing cold details, including this ice slide coming up. Yes, guys, it is a warm and sweaty nine degrees inside of this tent here at the Gaylord Texan. It's ice. It's the 11th year. As you mentioned, two million pounds of ice. We have the big man himself, Santa Claus, there on the nice list. We've got Corporal Nick and Greg, and oh, you guessed it. On the naughty list, we've got Ron and Alexa. Come on, guys. You got to get better. Good morning, guys. Hey, I hope you're not afraid of heights because, yes, we are about 500 feet now. I got to let you know that I'm actually operating this GoPro camera. I had to leave my photographer down. Down below because it's pretty difficult to get up to the very top but we're up here I want to give you this view real quick look at that I don't know if you can see it through this GoPro but downtown Dallas looking beautiful on this Monday morning we're talking 360 views when you're at the top of Texas Tower now like I said kind of difficult to get up here we actually had to climb through this hatch I'm gonna show you this real quick that's the hatch. I don't know if you can see all the way down to the very, very bottom. Lots of ladders, lots of little hatches you had to climb through. Not easy. I had to stretch out, but we're up here. This is actually the maintenance area. So this is way beyond where you get to go when you're inside that actual tube that takes you up. So this is where the maintenance workers go. I'm going to give you a little view around here. Today's party on the plaza is statewide. In fact, we have 15 schools represented here from all over Texas, all organized by HTE Dance. Why, you ask? We are getting you ready for the 28th annual Dallas Children's Health Holiday Parade. It will be a party on the plaza all morning long here on News 8 Daybreak. Dallas Children's Health Holiday Parade, and we have a superstar out here who will actually be in the parade. This is Julia Brown. You're a children's health spokesperson. So you and your family have been watching this parade for many years. What's your favorite part? Uh, probably all the pretty floats, just like driving by. It's really awesome. All the sparkly floats. But this year, you actually get to be in the parade. You are a superstar. <laughs> are you excited about that? I am so excited. You're over the moon, right? You told yes. me. <laughs> yeah. What float will you be on? I will actually be on the penguin float. The penguin float. I love it. High five to you. Have fun in the parade tomorrow, all right? Yeah. All right. That's six geese a lane, five golden rings for calling birds and that's where my singing ends because that's day forehand in the background that's who I'm interviewing the 12 days of Christmas is all set up you see these incredible gazebos you think they just stay put but no they go away and they come back it takes them three months to build these that yes there will be seven grand marshals in this year's Dallas Veterans Day Parade all incredible veterans the opening ceremonies start outside of Dallas City Hall at 9 30 this morning but we are joined by one of the grand marshals an incredible man an incredible veteran he served as a captain in the U.S. Army Air Corps, actually flew in the final air combat mission in World War II. I thanked you earlier for your service, and I love what you told me about that. Tell well, me that. When you thank somebody uh, who served, you have to thank 16 million of us. It isn't just one man who served. 10% of the nation was in uniform, and 5% of the women. 8 million people served as Rosie the Riveters. So we, we have 16 million people to... Good morning, guys. Check out the line. Oh, wait, there isn't a line. This is the perfect time to come out here and shop because I hear around 9, 10 a.m. It will be slammed. So come out here now. Check it out. We've got some quirky gifts. If you love a glass of wine or a bottle of wine, this is perfect. The whole bottle fits in one glass. So when you say I'm having a glass of wine, you can have a whole bottle. The leg lamp from a Christmas story, they have that. If you're really protective of your wine, they have a wine lock. So you can actually lock it up. No one can get to it. All kinds of gifts here, but let's get serious now. They've got some Star Wars stuff here. 
here. T-shirts, action figures, sweatshirts, and then you move on over to the beauty area. They've got more than 200 brands of perfume, all kinds of beauty stuff here. And what I love, you spend $50 and you get $10 in Kohl's cash on everything that you buy here. So you buy an Xbox for $250, you're getting a lot of money here. This is Jenna Cisneros, the store manager in South Lake here. Good morning. I am feeling like a king this morning at the Hilton Anatole. We've got the Maniacs, we've got the Mavs dancers. Why you ask? Well, it's time for the 2015 Generational Equity Jingle Bell Run. It's going down tonight. Details coming up. Hey, good morning. We've got the Mavs dancers. We've got the Maniacs. It all starts at 4 o'clock today. Registration, 6.30 is the one-mile fun run. And at 7 o'clock, we've got the 5K run. I think we got to do a little Maniac version of Stomp. Let's start with the Jingle Bells. Add in a present. Add in a little vocals. Boom, 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 boom. And then you got dancing. Oh, look at that. Now that's how you get down with the Mavs dancers and the maniacs. All right, I want to bring in Katie Edwards, the director of the Mavs Foundation, because the best part about this run, it benefits you and another great foundation. Mavs Foundation, how does this help you guys? Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, what a beautiful day this is. This is the 11th annual Soup Mobiles Celebrate Jesus Christmas Gala. Check it out. The tables are set today. 500 men, women, and children will arrive here at the Omni Dallas Hotel for a great meal, a lot of gifts, and a warm room to stay in. And this says it all right here. Check out that beautiful, smiling face. So many people will have a great Christmas Eve thanks to Soup Mobile. And we are joined by the marketing manager. This is Sylvia Wrench. Good morning to you. Hello, Brandon or Brandon Shadow. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Elvis Presley himself moved and grooved on this very stage, performed to thousands of people, and I am walking on that very stage right now. Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, the Jackson Five, Tina Turner actually left Ike, broke up with him after a performance on this very stage. We're talking some major history inside of the original Statler Hilton in downtown Dallas. Look at this. Good morning, guys. You truly can't beat this. Parents and kids, you get to walk on the Dallas Cowboys football field like you own the place today. It's Kids Day, the back to school kickoff. They have all kinds of activities set up. They've got a giant twister inflatable over there. Also have a giant Jenga. Of course, you get to throw around some footballs and kick them. See if I can knock this Jenga over. Come on. Oh, almost got it. You can touch the star. You have full reign of the stadium. We have Chelsea Hudson here. You think you can sink this putt? I'll do my best. Go for it. Try to knock it in there. Winding up. Oh, John Wayne stole it from you. What a fun day this is. Break this down for kids today. Good morning, guys. I can't think of a better place to have a Wild West show. They say the West begins here in Fort Worth, and inside this Cowtown Coliseum, this place is legendary, home of the world's first indoor rodeo, and it's here on the weekends that you can see Pawnee Bill's Wild West show, and boy, are we joined by a legend himself, Pawnee Bill. Great to see you, sir. So what's the experience when people come down here and see this Wild West show? He's going to fly. All right. I've got the... I've got the pixie dust in my hair, everybody. So, yes, I, I think we're going to fly here. We'll see if that pixie dust hasn't worn off yet. But this is an incredible experience, unlike any theatrical play you've ever seen. Entirely 360. There's only 12 rows of seats, 1,500 seats total. So it doesn't matter what seat you are in. You will have the absolute best seat in the house. And, yes, it all starts tomorrow. And, look, it's the beautiful <laughs> Tinkerbell in person. <laughs> do I still have enough pixie dust you left? You absolutely do. You okay. Okay. A little bit and happy thoughts. Happy and we'll get thoughts. You up in the air. Here we go, Tinkerbell. Here we go. Let's see if I still have enough. <gasps> We're flying. <laughs> yes, here we go. So, you've been involved in a lot of other plays. Mm. Tell me about this experience, though, because this is so cool. It's so unusual. We're surrounded by 15,000 square feet of IMAX screens, and I get to fly to Neverland every night. It's an incredible show with acrobatics. Here we wow, go. Here we go. We're flying. Up to Neverland. So we go to Neverland. We go all over Peter Pan, right? Tell we me about do, the different yeah. places. It's Brandon Hamilton this morning who's got a cute little friend with him there. Hey, Brandon. Aww. I do. A little Santa baby here, as Maura said. But I don't feel like I don't even need to talk. I just show the puppies off, right? They speak for themselves. But, you know, it is the season of giving. You can give to your friends and family, but we also need to give to these cute little guys. Get them a home this holiday season. This is Maura Davies with SPCA of Texas. Good morning. Good morning. So who do we have here? I love their names. Oh, they're wonderful. Okay, so I have Pinky. This is Pookie. And you have Puffy. Pinky, Pookie, and Puffy. Puffy yes. I love it. All right, so home for the holidays here at North Park Center. What is this all about? 
Brown. Sure. Well, good morning to you all this week. I am featuring some of the reportedly most haunted locations in DFW. And today we're at the Dallas Heritage Village to feature the Miller Moore Mansion, where people reportedly see a woman watching them in that top bedroom window. We'll head inside and tell you ghost stories coming up. Good morning, guys. Yes, we're inside the 105 year old Texas historic landmark. This is the old ballroom where a lot of country legends have played throughout the years. People hear sounds of kids laughing in here, furniture scooting across the floor. This building has a lot of history behind it. Back in the late 1800s, there were four German lodges in the Dallas area. Well, in 1911, they decided to open this building and convert all into one. It's a place where people came together to play, to have a good time. But now, a lot of people are saying there's a few extra extra guests with them when they're here. That's where the ghost stories begin and we're inside the bar where it actually begins. Watch out. Did you get pushed down the stairs, Nefty? Okay, just making sure. This is David Lewis. He is the president of the Sons of Herman Home Association. So let's talk experiences because you've had them and a lot of other people. Our search for the most haunted places in DFW continues. It is day four and today it brings us 30 miles south of Dallas to Waxahachie to investigate the Catfish Plantation. Coming up, we'll take you inside this 1890 former farmhouse. So trying to prove that ghosts exist to Ron. That's my dedication this week. But yes, we are at the Catfish Plantation in Waxahachie. This was built in 1895 as a farmhouse. It remained a farmhouse all the way through the Depression era. In the 1970s, it turned into a doctor's office, and then it was purchased in 1984 and became a restaurant known as the Catfish Plantation. Wow, this place is awesome. A lot of history. Here's one of the dining rooms here that you can dine in. They've got two more back here, and that's where we find Amelia Landis Sparks, co-owner, also granddaughter of the original owners, front of house manager. You do it all. So first, let's talk about your grandparents, because when they bought this building, they didn't believe. Ron won't believe it, but trust me, something happened in there. We'll show you that in just a second. They have eight historic buildings out here, including that house back there. That's the Fairs House, the oldest house in McKinney. It was built in 1854, poltergeist activity in there. Over here we have the two bit Taylor in that red building for 25 cents. You could get a room, you could get your laundry done and get a meal. They claim to see a Civil War soldier in there. This over here though is the house that we investigated. This is the Delaney Cottage. It was built in 1875 by Dr. Delaney. He was actually a Civil War surgeon. Well good morning to you. It is day three for our search for the most haunted places in DFW and today it brings us to Cowtown, the Fort Worth Stockyards to feature Miss Molly's Hotel. Boy, does it have a colorful past. We'll take you inside coming up. Ron, I'm going to have to bring you over here because once you step inside here, you will believe in ghosts. But seriously, once you step inside of the Miss Molly's Hotel, it truly brings you back to the end of those Wild West days, and it's just old enough to have experienced the Wild West. It opened in 1910 as a boarding house called the Palace Rooms. Then during Prohibition, it was turned into the Oasis, started as a brothel, especially into the 1940s where it was the Gayet Hotel. A lot of history here, and two ladies that know all about the history. We have have Paula and Tina. Well, I know the rain is causing some issues out there, but you can't ask for better weather when it comes to exploring haunted locations. And it is the final day of our search for the most haunted places in DFW, and it brings us to the Sons of Herman Hall. We'll take you inside this 100 year old building coming up. We are hanging out on the front porch right now of the Greek Revival Mansion at the Dallas Heritage Village. This is the Millermore Mansion. It was built by a Dallas pioneer. His name was William Brown Miller, completed in 1862. So, my goodness, does this place have some history? And with history, of course, comes ghost stories. Now,